<laughs> you know, true. you know, so that's something to take into consideration. So how are you feeling? You feeling um, healthy? We're going to get you back this summer I don't or what? Oh man, I was just talking to the guys out front and <sighs> Wow, <laughs> that good, huh? Yeah, man, it's uh, it's, it's frustrating for an athlete to not be able to play, huh? It's really frustrating and, and the, the 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 recovery time, like it's so much fun and I'm out there and doing, you know, we're all out there doing our thing and my leg feels great. And then the next morning, it's. Oh, we need no. to get you like HGH or one of these something. super injections. All <laughs> yeah, these yeah. other guys are on or something. Yeah, and just if you're if you're tuning in, we're talking about. <laughs> and you're going. What are they talking about? Um, Skyline Home Loans has their own softball team now with a bunch of real estate professionals and loan officers. And boy, uh, it, it's a sight to be seen. But uh, it, it's I'm actually the king. Good I'm the king of the swinging bunt. Yeah, yeah, you are, Gino. My goodness, if you can get it past third base, it'd be a, a really cool thing. Or throw it. To, um, no. to the pitching mound. One of the two. <laughs> I know. We're throwing them under the bus. But anyways, this is a good time. Jeff's on our team. We have a good group. So, Jeff, you have plenty of time now to spend on helping people with their short sales, right? <laughs> no more Tuesday night softball for me, I guess, at this point. So i got to sit at my desk, and it's the only thing I can do is sit at my desk at this point. So. All right. So, you know, one of the things that we're going to discuss today is, uh, and we, we talked about this for, you know, I remember in 2009, I remember I called it the year of the short sale. And uh, I think that was pretty valid. I think it was, but they're still alive and well. And I'm shocked to hear that, you know, that there's plenty of business to be had out there. And, you know, maybe like 14% of the homes are underwater instead of 33% mm -hmm. of the homes being underwater. But sure. it, you're still busy. We're still busy. We're, you know, I was telling Don earlier that we're not at, you know, 10, 12, 11, 12 figures by any stretch of the imagination. However, we are, um, we're keeping busy. You know, we, uh, well, why don't we let a lot of you out there, and just uh, if you just tune in, you're here with the Don and Juno Real Estate and Finance Show at your hometown station, AM 1220 KHTS. We'll give you a little bit of highlights of, of why uh, Mr. Jeff Hunter with Real Pro Advantage is here. Um, give him a little backdrop because people don't understand short sale negotiations and why you need a negotiator and why you joined Real Pro Advantage. It's a great story. Yeah, I worked um, uh, for many years for a, a major loan servicer that did a primarily um, subprime loans. Mm -hmm. So uh, about 40% of our $75 billion portfolio was in default. And <laughs> wow. I.E. subprime loans. <laughs> yeah. So um, needless to say, I was extremely busy negotiating short sales on behalf of the, of, of the trust or on behalf of the investor. Um, worked with every... So you were on the dark side. I was on the dark side, the, the <laughs> quote-unquote dark side. And so I brought the dark side to this side and trying to clean me up. You know I'm getting you a Darth Vader helmet. <laughs> I was going to say, how appropriate, because <laughs> it was like Star Wars Day just a few days ago. Yeah. So, was, so, so at, the, at Fenway they did that. Anyway. So anyway, I, I worked with every real estate agent, uh, real estate uh, attorney, title, escrow in the country. We, we lent in 48 states and... Um, Closing 50 to 60 short sales a month, which equates to 120 approved short sales a month. So you can imagine um, how many people I got to deal with. And I, you know, I met Amy, who, who ran the show. at Amy at, Sturton. Yeah. At, lovely at, Amy. At, at Real Pro Advantage, who, again, I can count on one hand the, the amount of people that did this right and handled the bank the right way and didn't call me and tell me what I needed to do when I needed to do it. It was... Here's what I've got. What do I need to what do? What do I need to do to make this happen? That's right. And so she was one of the very few people that um, that was doing what they needed to do the right way, in my opinion. Um, my company ended up selling and moving to the Midwest, and and you didn't from, want to. And I didn't want to be in your California. family out here. That's and right. Yeah, for sure. So um, the opportunity was presented for me to work with Amy, and you know, a few years later, here we are. Well, we can honestly say, and I know Gino will jump on this, uh, we work with a lot of real estate professionals, obviously, but obviously throughout a transaction, we have the pleasure or, or not pleasure of working with short sale negotiators, and we always, we, this is not butter in your buns, Jeff, but we always enjoy working with you and Amy, because you guys do tell us what the facts are, what needs to happen, what's going to happen, and it's realistic, i.e. real pro advantage, and you guys are real pros, and uh, you guys do a great job. And we yeah. just wanted to clarify for all of you out there, what's going on with short sales and why Jeff has been busy lately? <laughs> well, I mean, you know, to my surprise, right, because I'm one of the people that are probably turning my, 
my back to the short sale business and sure. saying it's gone it's it's behind mm-hmm. us we don't even have to deal with that i'm only looking forward mm-hmm. uh but to even hear you walk in today going gosh it's so busy i got so much to do i'm like well wait a second maybe there's something to listen to here because we look at a bunch of reports we look at a bunch of trends we see what's happening in the resale market everything's exciting everything's hot but there's really still some people in distress. Tell us about that. Sure. Yeah. That's again go, going back to we're not where we were where we were many years ago, two three years ago. But um, I think with the change in environment and the change in what a lot of the realtors in town are seeing, they've got a lot of we'll call it standard equity business. And if they stumble upon a short sale, they're not out knocking on NODs anymore. Because well, they didn't have a choice before. Right. I mean, it was a substantial part of our business, That's whether right. it was a foreclosure or a short sale. They needed to be involved. Otherwise, they just basically yeah, – they, they, well, they would have had money. no business at right. all. Right, exactly. Absolutely. exactly. So a lot of those folks are realistically, you know, when they stumble upon one, it's, hey, I'm going to give it to Jeff because I, I've got so many other things going on that I can't, I, I can't spend the time that it Kudos takes. Kudos to them, though. Absolutely. I mean, yeah. that's a smart thing to do for a real professional is to hand it to a professional that will hand it correctly so that they can spend the time that they're supposed to spend with their clients, either helping them buy a home or sell a home, and let, you, let the pros handle it because you're a master negotiator. You know exactly what needs to be, be done, and that's actually benefiting the, the clients without Plus, a doubt. A, that's a really tricky space that you're in, and it's constantly evolving, constantly changing. So. <laughs> I can imagine, you know, when when a real estate professional was doing it themselves, because that's all they had to do was mm-hmm. their one short sale or their mm-hmm. two short sales, they could maybe stay in tune with what one or two servicers were doing. But now that it's not part of their day to day lives and they just stumbled on one and they've been they haven't done a short sale in three months, I can imagine that panorama's changed completely. Completely. Yeah. I mean it changes day after day, you know, week, month. It, it, I can I, I can do a deal. 30 days later, do the same deal with the same servicer. Maybe it's a different investor, but different guidelines. We need different things. We have different timelines. It's changed a lot over the last three or four years. Like you said, it changed like our business. We have to watch guidelines for for lending guidelines, and that helps us help our clients better by knowing those guidelines and you you're the same thing if like like Gino said if a real estate agent just tried to dive in again and think that they can handle it the way they handled it three years ago it's a whole new ballgame for sure and, and and not to get too technical but the CFPB is the is the driving force behind a lot of the changes and I know that you guys see that here on your level yeah they're they're adding layers of of review for every servicer out there from from the reviewing the the offer from the buyer and as well as the seller so before it was you know what what do you got what kind of offer you got it does is it meet the market we're good with it now it's who's buying it and what are they up to well there yeah. was a lot of fraud in that there really was a Absolutely. lot of fraud in that industry all right well we have to go to break here we're here with mr jeff hunter with real pro advantage the uh, short sell extraordinaire um <laughs> and what he's going to actually talk about why he's so much busier now than maybe he was just a little while ago we're, we have a more normal market now in the real estate community but because of some hamp and half a changes and you're going to go what does that mean well, we're not going to leave you half a knowing what's going on. We're going <laughs> to tell you exactly what's going on when you return to the Don and Gino Real Estate and Finance Show on your hometown station, AM 1220 KHDS.